My name is Mary Reeves. I'm a PhD ecologist. We are working on a project using artificial intelligence, training a deep neural network to interpret camera data, camera trap data from the Kauai forest. We are doing it because there are rats in the Kauai forest when they don't belong there. Um, and the rats eat our endangered Hawaiian forest birds. They mainly seem to go in and prey on the nests while the females are incubating the nests, the rats do. And so the Kauai Forest Bird Recovery Project is trapping rats in the Kauai forest using these good nature traps. The primary benefit to Hawaii conservation is if you can use a computer instead of a person to review tens of thousands of the photos that you might get from camera traps, then that person can be on the ground doing other conservation work and not sitting in the office sorting through photos of things you don't care about, like ferns growing. You know, it used to be you'd have to spend $2,500 for an annual license for a statistics package. Now R is free download and everybody can use it. And I think that kind of devotion to the implementation of the free and open source stuff has really allowed humanity to just kind of grow by leaps and bounds. And the AI stuff, right, you know, the deep neural network, that this is the type of models that we're using for computer vision, for um, acoustic, for speech recognition. Um, for like fraud detection in text, it, it's really good at, at detecting patterns. Right. Um, so it can cluster things on its own or if you provide it with a training data set, which is what we're doing, um, which you've labeled like rat, not rat, um, then it does a good job learning the features of a photo so that it can then predict rat, not rat. For my work, what's next is really to get the model to run on a, I've done a binomial classification, rat, not rat. Okay. I need the model to run on a multinomial classification, human, pig, empty, rat. I want the photos to be sorted for our partners so that when they want to see pictures of rats, they don't have to sort through, you know, 75% of their photos have no rat in them and nothing in them. They can only look at rat behavior. That's my goal, is to just take that staff person and give them only, you know, quality work to do and not really boring watching plants grow. Climate change is a big issue, and we all kind of head in the sand about it, I think, because nobody really knows what to do. But the, especially in the islands, and, you know, you look at all the, we've seen, I've worked a lot in Alaska, we've seen a lot of just ocean wildlife die-offs due to starvation in the past few years, which is scary. The plastics in the ocean, very scary. We see a lot of that in the Hawaiian Islands. Sure. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and yeah, just um, invasive predators are a huge threat to biodiversity. They are just a huge threat to biodiversity, not just birds. It's birds, it's bats, it's plants. The predator control on islands. Okay. It's, it's pivotal. Keep it's pivotal. Inside. We call it killing for conservation. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, keep your cat inside. Spay and neuter your animals.